Well, hello, YouTubers. How are you guys doing? Today, I'm up here at Brothers Auto Sales in Bernie, Texas. I'd like to give a big thanks for providing the truck featured in today's in-depth review. Links to their website and contact information can be found in the video description. So today, I'm here to bring you this 2015 Ford Transit 150 cargo van. This is going to be complete and in-depth review of the Transit. We'll start the engine, show it off, go over many of the performance specs, and show you many features that this van has to offer. So we'll go ahead and get started by walking around the exterior. There's really nothing that much special about this van. It's just your typical average cargo or European cargo van shipped over here to the United States. There's a little bit of changes done to the to the Transit for the US models. For one thing, it's powertrain and a little bit of the interior upgrades as well. It's got the basic 15 inch wheels wrapped in, wrapped in hand cooked Dynapro tires. Average Joe cargo van. Let's see if I can't show you in the back. Amazing amounts of cargo space back here. This vehicle does have backup sensors in the rear bumper, and even a backup camera as well. Definitely something you don't find on most cargo vans. Definitely helps if you're if you're backing into a parking spot. I find that very handy to have for such a big van. There's a view from your side. You also do have some nice interior illumination right back there. You easily see at night. That's all on the exterior of this van. Now I'm going to go on the interior and show you inside the cab. Up front, you do have gray vinyl seats. All your power options are over here. Power windows, power door locks, and your power mirrors are up in the dash. So. Let's go ahead and jump inside here. Very comfortable stepping height on this van. It's very nice. So now we'll go ahead and start the engine. This van only has 8,000 miles in its odometer. Very decent amount of miles on this truck, on this van. So, now we'll go ahead and start the engine. Very nice. It's got a vinyl wrapped steering wheel. Nice and smooth power assisted steering. Does feel a bit tight, but not necessarily the hardest thing to turn in the world. Nice grip bolsters on the wheel. Kind of looks like they took this wheel out of the Ford Focus. This truck has a six-speed automatic transmission with manual shiftability by pulling it down into M and manually selecting the gears by the plus and minus on the side of the shifter. Your numbers show right up there in the dash. And once you put the vehicle in reverse, it does show your integrated backup camera right up in the rear view mirror with guidance lines up there. And once you put it in park neutral or drive, it will disappear like if it wasn't even there. All right, now let's go ahead and turn on the lights. Hazards. Driver's window is automatic down and only the back portion rolls down. The front portion right there is just fixed. So let's go ahead and check out the exterior. Right now we're gonna go back in shut off all the lights and now I'm gonna pop the hood 
and show the engine. Nice feature on these newer transits is that they now have a hood latch inside the vehicle to release it instead of having to stick your key inside the grill and turn it just to open the hood. At the business end of this transit, we find here it's 3.7 liter V6, dual overhead cams with four valves per cylinder, produces 305 horsepower and 280 foot-pounds of torque. Most people are very unfamiliar with this. This is actually the same motor that's used on the Ford Mustang V6. Your box right over there. It's a very small engine bay. Coolant over there. Washer fluid over there. Power steering fluid. It's overall a very nice running engine. And pretty fuel efficient too for a for a cargo van. EPA fuel economy estimates for this engine range between 17 miles per gallon city and 23 miles per gallon highway on regular unleaded gas. Very nice to have if you're using this for going on long road trips hauling loads. So let's go ahead and shut the hood here. Now we'll go back inside. Now we'll go ahead and see how it sounds. It does have a rev limiter around 4,000 RPM. Very nice sounding engine. Your parking brake is located right down here. The indicator light shows right up there in the dash. All right, now let's go ahead and shut the door, roll up the window, check out some of the interior features. Right here's your basic radio right up here. Your radio control is right there. You can scroll through AM and FM. Auxiliary line in is hook up right down here. This little blank right here is for a, a auxiliary port right there that this obviously this vehicle is unequipped with. You have six presets over here. Track C tune over here. Your mute right there. Show your time up here. Sound sound settings and menu over here. Obviously your volume and power are right front and center. Climate controls down here, fan speeds right here, temperature in your different zones, front defrost, AC control and recycler, 12 volt power point right down there, another one right over here, two cup holders up here in the front here, glove box, two storage pockets on the side of the door, the driver does have this nice little fold down armrest nice to have if you're going on a long road trip and don't want to lean off the side all the time. Wiper controls are right over here. Your cruise controls located right off to the left. Here's all the controls for your heads up display. Right here you show your distance to empty, your distance traveled, your timer, average miles per gallon, your engine temperature, these are obviously in Spanish right now. Let's see if I can't change this to English. Well, that's trip A, trip B, I believe. I'm not too good at knowing Spanish, so some of you please help me out here. There's your information. Uh, But anyway, you get the idea. Your visors are up right up here, very large. Two reading lights up here. Interior illumination. 
back there. Nice little storage pocket down here. Overall, it's actually a very nice van. Definitely would make a good cargo van. We're going to shut it down here. Well, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this in-depth review of the 2015 Ford Transit. Please like, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.